high pronunciation learners this is twisty sound sounds youtube channel another day another video of english pronunciation lesson in this video i'm going to showcase for you how to pronounce these 10 words that start with the letter g without further ado let's begin garage or garage getting more free genre ganon Goofus, Gatto, Genuflect, Gauge, Gauche, and Gauchery. The first word is Garage, or we can also say Garage. It's a French word, which means building or storing motor vehicles. That's a Garage. It's a two-syllable word, Garage. The first syllable should be stressed. We say Garage. The second word is Gadimofi. Gadimofi is a polysyllabic word. Let's make the division of the syllables. We say Gadimofi. It's a four syllable word. And what's Gadimofi? As a noun, this means a jumble or a medley of things. That's the meaning of Gadimofi. It contains two stresses. The primary and main stress the syllable is more with long O, which is syllable number three. We say getting more free, but also the first syllable ga should be somehow stressed. It's called, technically speaking, the secondary stress. We say getting more free, getting more free. Again, garage, garage, getting more free. The third word is genre. It's also a French word. We say genre. In English, we say genre. It's a two-syllable noun, genre. The first syllable, genre, should be stressed. We say genre. And what's the genre? It's a style or category of art. That's the genre. Let's repeat again. Garage, garage, galimorphy, genre. The fourth word is ganon. Ganon is a noun, and this word means a, a kind of long-tailed African monkey. It's called ganon. Two syllable word, ganon, the second syllable non should be stressed. Listen closely, we say ganon. Genre, ganon. Word number five is goofus. Goofus is a two syllable adjective. Goofus. And the first syllable go with long u should be stressed. We say goofus. It's an informal word and it means a stupid, or clumsy, or foolish person. That's goofus. Word number seven is genuflect, and to genuflect is to bend the knee as an action of worship. That's to genuflect. This word is a verb. It contains genuflect, three syllables, three vowel sounds. The first vowel sound, j, should be stressed. Listen closely. We say genuflect, to bend the knee as an action of worship. That's to genuflect. Word number eight is gauge, spelled in two ways. G-A-U-G-E or G-A-G-E. Both are correct. The pronunciation is the same. We say gauge. It's a monosyllabic word, and to gauge is to measure exactly. Gauge. Word number nine is gauche. And gauche is also a monosyllabic word. It means clumsy. That's the meaning of gauche or tactless. Someone who is gauche is someone who is tactless and clumsy. This word is monosyllabic. As I said, we say gauche. The noun is gauchery. Gauchery is a three-syllable noun. Gauchery. The first syllable should be stressed. Go. We say gauchery. Now let's practice pronunciation learners. Listen closely. Gauchery. Gauche. Gauge. Genuflect. Ghetto. Goofus, Ganon, Genre, Gary Murphy, Garage. Let's go back to the word number six, ghetto, and explain its meaning. What's a ghetto? It's an area or a city where the private people live. Because I did not explain that word, it helps in understanding and also fostering a good grasp of English language. Now again, 
pronunciation learns, garage, garage, gallimorphy, genre, genon, goofus, ghetto, genuflect, gauge, gauche, and gaucherie. Twisty Sound is on YouTube channel. Goodbye and thanks for watching.